In this video, we are going to take a look at five dancehall artists who made it to the spotlight in 2023, but for some reason, they disappeared. Hey, yeah, I got nothing new that I so that the number one reason why dancehall artists are new dancehall artists who gain some form of recognition tend to fail or fall off within a year, it's often due to lack of consistent and strategic career planning. Here's the thing, sustaining a successful music career requires more than just talent. Many new artists focus solely on creating music without considering the broader aspect of their career. It is a known fact that 90% of all established artists who gain popularity and maintain their brand establish a strong brand identity. It's all about define your unique style and build a loyal fan base. Now here's the thing, another aspect that normally contributes to this is changing in trend. Unfortunately, this is not the case for these artists. All of them artists are established with the same trend around even now. They are singing and doing the same concept of music. None of them boys are not ready, yo, steely. None of them boys are not ready. Let's start from the least. Marksman. Marksman do find one and two songs, you know, from here and there. But... The dancehall artist faced a decline in his career trajectory due to several critical factors. One primary reason was he failed to collaborate effectively with both new and established artists within the genre. So Marksman fought on the scene late 21. I think it was about December, right? He fought with Chopper 2, that was his biggest song. The man fought and him, him get a forward. Man, I like the song going good, about 78 million views are sung in the right now. But despite that little wave, right up to 2022 and 2023, Marksman only collab with one artist named Nile. How many of you guys know about that artist? So the point is, Marksman missed out on the opportunity to tap into different fan base and expose his music to a wider audience. Another factor I notice is his inability to adapt to the changing culture and musical landscape. Yeah, well, the man's style remains stagnant and him feel to resonate with the evolving preferences of the audience. It's simple as that. Dancehall genre strives on innovation and Marksman resistant to embrace these shift led to a gradual decline in his relevance. Now this disconnect became increasingly pronounced as the culture around him continued to evolve leaving the artist out of touch and trust me, the Marksman alone, the thing I realize is inconsistency in release. When I understand why the young artists them fall down feel like they need to release song every two months. This is not like back in the days, you know. Now if I understand say 1,000 artists out there now I get the break, so you would need to at least provide A-class content or simple, just stay consistent. Because at the end of the day, you cannot release a song them and you stress them bad. But time they can't hurry over this or release. Make it a song and they might release all three, four, five. So you have to just stay consistent. And now when they might trash, just release the song them start. At least give the fans them some to talk about. This absence of integration prevented him from building a loyal fan base and hindered the cultivation of a strong community around his music. Chop, chop, a -a for cream last in farm. Chops, another promising artist in the spotlight, initially captured the industry attention, particularly followed a musical feud with Marksman. Now, despite being recognized for his potential, Chop faced a similar trajectory of career decline. His inability to transition his recognition into sustainable success with a culmination of various factors. Although the feud with Marksman generated considerable buzz, Chop struggled to leverage that attention into lasting achievement. And similar to his rival, Chop lacked the strategic collaborations necessary to amplify his reach. The man just failed to engage with both emerging and established artists. And we all know what will go on in time this up. It's going to make you miss out on certain attention reach, right? It's all about pivoting your fan base. Sometimes you have to just jack others to reach where you want to reach. Simple as that. But we all know collaboration is effective, man. especially in the long run. We see artists who try to ride a wave by forward and try to remain by themselves. But you know what in the long run? Nobody not remember them because the industry not evolve around you one. In contrast to the anticipated potential, this serves as a reminder that potential isn't enough. So despite we know such chaps bad, because most of the people don't really hear about chaps since him and the marksman few. But success requires careful navigation of the industry intricacy, including collaboration, adaptability, and strategic planning. Chaps kinda left out there right now. I'm not really nobody to talk about chaps. No vlogger no nobody. I'm not seeing an artist a link up with him. And I know someone now comment and say your oh, brother chaps never boss in us so we are talk about well chaps still gain some of the biggest numbers in terms of streaming as a young artist and we are talking about 2022 to 2023 not many artists have like three to four song over a million views now this one is probably the most accurate finding in terms of why these artists fall off most of you are supposed to remember that song 
some might probably not even know the artist's name. Now, this artist goes by the name Slinger, a young, talented artist. Unfortunately, he struggled to establish a connection with wider audience, ultimately leading to a decline in his music career. Now, one of the primary reasons behind his struggle was his repetitive musical style that failed to evolve over time along with his dark guzzo music. Here's the thing, I am 100% agree that artists need to identify their signature style and also set a pace with it. But one need to understand that over time, your music will become fatigued. Singer's insistence on adhering to a repetitive style along with the same dark buzzer theme without exploring different lyrical theme and musical direction. It likely contributes to the listeners to become fatigued and now the artist's style and sound is predictable. Slinger started to gain a wide momentum in mid-2021 when he released the song Obia Man. Then he followed a couple other songs, you know, he gained some form of attraction and then he released the song Meech Life. Another song that gained huge recognition in the dancehall scene. Fast forward 2022, he released song like Outer Space, Peace at Dot Chopper Giant, Blood Sacrifice, Chopper Dem Like. All of the songs them sound alike. Same message, same team. Eventually, the artist start to fade out. And then remember, a lot of new artists started to forward on the scene. You know, so. Artists like Slingers and those who forward before had to work twice as hard as the new artists then. Because remember, once you knew the camera depend on you, you know, the spotlight depend on you. Hence the reason why artists can sing trash music when them hard can still get forward. But you now have to put in way more work and try to go around their energy. One thing I noticed, Slinger's way more consistent compared to Marksman and Chaps. Slinger's are released like two to three songs, sometimes four songs in a month. So, I'm actually a put out music, but them just now connect. So, you need to go back to the giant board and assess what really occurs all of this. Now, at number four, we have Brisco. Number five, Bigs Dan. To be frank, Bigs Dan feel it the worst though. And I think I did a complete video on Briska and Bigs Dan addressing you know, their situation and how well why their music declined. But I just got to use a minute and say this specifically about Bigs Dan. Here's the thing, it's effective promotion and marketing plays a crucial role in an artist's continued success. I realize that Bigs Dan a baffle. Bigs Dan will reach out to Drake and them people like him feel like say, you know, I'm going to get a collabor. A project so bigs Dan to me it seems as if him not have a proper team around him bigs Dan not have a record label or a marketing team right now are pushing things at one point i remember bigs Dan a hype over 50 grand you know team fans them right now bigs Dan need millions for pumping him career in order for pushing back out there may i tell you now it might sound away but that's how big Dan a face right now here's the thing you know you say talent that now in the game you know i always tell you know i know man out there were talented but nobody not hear them music. Well, if I use a forward and them not have one ounce of talent, but them get a forward because them have 1,000 links of talents and really win this, you know. You need promotion. And promotion forward through several different mediums, like, for example, public relation and media engagement. So that when you see them on interview, when you see them out in the street, about certain brands, you know, it also push for them to You talk about effective release strategy. See, you notice some people, them always pull off some stunt before them release them song. Then you have Chen Jackin, like when Skilly Bang followed out with the coke. You have capitalizing on collaboration because you get it or like it, you know. When you collaborate with more established artists or artists within your peer, we actually are dominating the industry. So young, hot artists, you get it or like it, it also expose you to new listeners. Then you have like diversification, balance promotion, that I like when you know, do regular promotion, like reach out to other content creators and them incorporate your music and them thing. And of course, consistent visibility. Another thing, I say, a lot of young artists are overlooked. Right now, Chaps account private. Another artist only have one photo up. How that makes sense on an artist? You're not supposed to put out content. You're supposed to be all over the internet right now so people can know. No. And I take a picture with a Valiant book. Valiant, they all over the internet sometimes. I have to wonder if I want to handle them or manage my account. Them. So the artists don't even understand them simple strategy. Yeah. But here's the thing though. I'm going to just put all of them in one article and put it on the website. So you know this free. All you need to do is subscribe. Bless up on yourself, man. Peace.